So as you can see, today's project, we're going to be making an A5 size notebook. So if you're not familiar with A5 size, it's what you'll find that it's much smaller than the eight and a half by 11. It's what you're gonna find the smaller like planners, calendars, that's the A5. See, much smaller than a regular piece of paper. Trust me, my head's not that big. Doesn't matter what my wife says, all right? So A5 paper. So we're gonna be taking some of this. We're gonna be taking two pieces of three millimeter thick by 300 millimeter tall by 300 millimeter wide, basswood, two of those, two sets of these little three ring binder clips, and a pink acrylic paint pen. We're gonna be taking that and we're gonna be turning them into the notebooks that you saw in the intro of the video. So grab your glasses, fire up your laser, open up Lightburn, and let's get to work. Okay, so today's project is is actually pretty simple. Um, the hardest part for me was laying out the holes on the page. So, you know, my wife kept jabbering in my ear, there's a file on Etsy, there's a file on Etsy. And I, and I just felt like being cheap, okay? So I, I went ahead and did it myself. It took me a while to get it. It would have been much easier to go on Etsy, get the file from somebody else. But I'm like... I want to do the file. I, I'm just going to do the layout myself. So it was real simple. Basically, all I did is is I laid out or I measured a piece of A5 paper. So the notebook we're going to be making today takes A5 size paper. So like for a daily planner, calendar, you know, it's not the eight and a half by eleven. So I took that and and I and I measured that page and I drew a square. Okay. And then what I did is I took my calipers and I measured from the top and the sides to the center of each hole. And what I found was I, I'm from the edge of the paper to the center of the first hole is 8.25 millimeters. Okay, so that was my first measurement. So that's the same measurement all the way down, okay, from top to bottom. Now from the top of the page... Now this is the measurements are the exact same from the bottom, just reverse in reverse order. So from the top of the page, I was 31.9 millimeters to the center of this hole. I was 51.4 millimeters to the middle of the second hole, and I was 70.3 millimeters to the center of the third hole. And each hole was six millimeters. So once I got that laid out, I just copied and pasted it and put it down and then turn it over and put it down here so I, and I did that all in photoshop and and it was it was pretty easy so if you have gimp or, or whatever free program you have if you don't have photoshop it's, it's pretty simple i'm not super tech savvy on that stuff so it took me a little bit but all in all not that hard to do so then what i did is i went in and i made the size of cover i wanted and i wanted it to hang over just a little bit on the top a little bit on the bottom and a little bit on the side but be lined up you know where my holes are with my paper so I made that square and then all I do is I come in here and I select the the size of the paper and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete that now there's our wood cover right there it's all set okay uh, corners are rounded so I don't have to sand anything down there it's all gonna be laser cut so let's uh now we've got our our binder cover is all ready to go okay now all we got to do is figure out what artwork we're going to put on that so for today what we're going to do is we're going to do the dolphin so i'm going to go to file and i'm going to go to import okay and i am going to go to we're going to go to hello laser and i'm going to go this is one of the files from my mandalas so all i'm going to do is i'm going to take the dolphin on the wave and i'm going to take layer two from that and there's my dolphin okay so now what i want to do is i'm going to resize the dolphin and drag that in
and get it on here. So you can you can go on the side of the holes, you can go on the top in between the holes. I'm gonna get it right about there. So on the one I already did, it's a little bit smaller. Well, actually, let's do this. We're gonna rotate it a little bit. and bring it down a little bit. And that right there is just about where I have it on the notebook that I've already done. Okay, so now we have our cover. We have the artwork that we're gonna burn. Now all I need to do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna select this outside line. Okay, now that outside line, what I'm gonna do, cause I wanna paint this. I don't wanna cut the whole dolphin out. I want to paint this. I need to make that line deep enough that when I go to paint it, the paint doesn't seep from where I'm painting in here in the dolphin over that line onto the notebook. Okay. So what I've found is on my 10 watt, I'm going at about 40% uh, or 80% power and 40 millimeters a second. And then my lines, all these lines are all um, the black lines. All of those are all going to be uh, five uh, five percent power or five uh, five millimeters a second and ninety percent power. So so all this. So now I've also got to take this that outer layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move that off. Now I'm going to highlight all this and I'm adding that. To that line right there so now that is all uh five millimeters a second 90 percent power and we're going to do two passes now i can take my outline and i can move it back right there so that's it so let's go ahead get your glasses fire up your laser and we're going to burn this cut it and then we'll get it painted, we'll get it stained, and we'll see what the final product looks like. Okay, so here we go. So now we're going to turn the laser on. Now what you guys will notice is going to happen here, and if you ever have this issue, this is this might be one of the one of the reasons. So you'll see that down here I have, I also have an Atom Stack A5 M50 Pro. So it pulls it up in alphabetical order. So when I turn my laser on, what's going to happen is when I select the Xtool uh, D110 watt, the Atom Stack and the Xtool home in different positions. So it's going to flip my artwork here. It's going to flip the whole thing. So let's go ahead and turn this on. All right. So now I'm going to select my X tool and see right there what happened is it flipped it so I'm just gonna select it no big deal and we're gonna flip it that way if you if you select your X tool first even if it's not turned on before you do that it won't flip it so anyway so now we've got our X tool selected we've got I did a red layer in case later on I just want to burn this and not cut it for some reason so now I just got a couple different layers but it's all the it's all the same so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys show you guys my settings okay so you'll see here I've got five millimeters a second at 90 percent power and that's for all my cut lines okay that's just for all this the holes and the notebook cover all right, and I've got that set to run two passes, and that's good. So then the red is the same thing. It's five millimeters a second, 90% power, and I've got that set for two passes. It usually will cut it out in one, but sometimes, because it is plywood, it doesn't get it cut out. So I just, I'm running two passes. It's not going to hurt it, and everything comes out nice and clean. And then... For my outside line of my dolphin, you can see here, I have 40 millimeters a second at 80% power. And that right there is good. So 
let's move this back over now one of the other things i am going to be using air assist so i have my air assist nozzle on so i've got to watch out i got to be super careful when i go to move my laser or frame it that i'm not hitting my honeycomb pins okay because those stick up and they will hit on those honeycomb pins so i just want to drop it down here this this cover is going to take one sheet for the front one sheet for the back so i'm not really worried about exactly where it's at as long as it you know stays inside the wood and doesn't hit my honeycomb pins so now what i'm going to do is i'm starting up here in the top left corner and we're going to go ahead and we're going to frame this All right, so I'm clear of my honeycombs. It's everything is on the wood. Let's start the burn. Okay, so we've got the front cover is, is all cut out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to is we're going to cut out our back cover. So make sure you save your file here. So save that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead cuz I already have this saved. I'm just going to delete the dolphin and there's our back cover all ready to go. So let's cut that out. We'll get it painted, we'll get it sealed, and we'll put them together and see how it looks. So as you guys can see, here is my back cover with my holes. Here is my front cover with my dolphin. These are the ones we just cut. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the nice thing about having this, this little line right here engraved. If it's deep enough, I'm gonna take an acrylic pen, just from cheapy, cheapy acrylic pen from Amazon. I'm gonna show you guys that as long as that line is deep enough, your paint is not gonna bleed over. So let's go ahead, we'll finish getting this thing painted. We'll let it dry, we'll take it outside, we'll put a clear coat on it, maybe a little polished sand on that, another clear coat, and then we'll put it all together and see how it looks. You have your way, and it's making me weaken. You and your status, walking like that. It's really getting too much, but I can't pull back. Though I try to. All right, so that wasn't too hard. So it took about 21, 22 minutes to actually. Uh, cut the, the cover out, the front and the back, with the dolphin. Another 12 or 13 minutes to hand paint the dolphin. The longest part about this whole ordeal is actually putting the polyurethane on it, the clear coat, after it was all done, letting that dry, a little light sand with some 400 grit, you know, because it's basswood, so sometimes it gets a little rough when it gets, when it gets wet with paint or whatever. So a little 400 grit, uh, clean that off, another layer on, on the front and the back sides of each of those pieces, let that all dry. So that took the longest. That was a few hours, you know, especially here where I'm at with all the humidity. So, but it still is not bad, especially if you're doing like several of these and you, can, and you spray paint them all, let them sit dry, so on and so forth. So 
these are the ones that I had already done, you know, th this turtle here and this guy right here, this dolphin. So those came out really good. And then this is the one we did today in the video. This is our dolphin. You can see it's nice and shiny from the clear coat. About 50 pages of paper, which it can actually fit quite a bit more. So it can probably fit double that. Um, but yeah, I mean, this was a fun little project. My wife wanted to do some cool stuff that, you know, she could tell her friends about or give to her friends for gifts, things like that. So now with that being said, and, and we've done that, if you really want to challenge yourself, um, this was, uh, this took me a couple hours, but what I did is when I lasered every, this turtle here for this one, um, I actually, I, I took all the pieces that were left over from the cutout off the honeycomb, lifted the honeycomb up, got all the little tiny pieces all together. And I took those and what I did is I took the cutout and I took one of the backs that I had cut out. And all I did is I put the cutout of, of this turtle, just the front cover, on top of a back, okay? And then took some CA glue and glued each one of those individual pieces to make kind of a mandala type cover. So, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was a bitch. I mean, that, oof. Man, um, I, if I was gonna do that and sell them, I mean, they'd be so freaking expensive because it literally took me two hours to glue them and another half hour to paint that one. Some of them wouldn't be so bad. I mean, if I did the dolphin, I mean, it's got way fewer pieces in it. Um, you could do that, paint that. It would be much, much quicker. The dolphin's not something I'm probably going to do again. That one's for the wife. So, guys, um, it really is pretty easy, and it was fun. It was a quick little project to do. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Please make sure that you like the video. Hit the subscribe button in the corner. Oh, I looked, I'm in Pensacola, so I looked all over. I went to Michael's. I went to everywhere, uh, uh, Office Depot, anywhere you can think of, any craft store. I could not find these little three ring sets, okay? Um, I actually had a hard time finding just blank A5 paper. So I just got those off Amazon. They come, the three ring binder uh, come in a, uh, a 20 pack. So you can do 10 notebooks with it. And it was really inexpensive. I'm going to put the link for that and the paper down in the, in the comments below or in the description below. So guys, once again, please like the video, subscribe to the video. And we'll see you in the next one. You guys have a great day.